Clan Crawford is a Scottish clan recognised by the Court of the Lord Lyon, which is the heraldic authority of Scotland. The clan does not have a clan chief recognised by the Lord Lyon King of Arms, so is considered an armigerous clan. Clan Crawford is considered armigerous, because Crawford is matriculated with the Lyon Court as armigers. The last internally recognised chief was Hugh Ronald George Crawford who sold his land and moved to Canada in 1904. He died in Calgary in 1942, leaving no male heirs. The surname of Crawford is believed to be of Norman origin. The name is taken from the barony of the same name and Lanarkshire. The early names of all of the principal Crawford families are all Norman, however some scholars have asserted an Anglo-Danish ancestry. There is a tradition that Reginald who was a son of the Earl of Richmond was one of the Norman knights who were established by David I of Scotland. The Crawfords appear in legendary incident, when the king's life was saved from a stag, and this led to the foundation of Holyrood Abbey. It is said, that Sir Gregan Crawford was instrumental, in saving his royal master's life. Sir Reginald Crawford was appointed Sheriff of Erin in 1296. His sister married Warlace of Eldersley and was mother of the Scottish patriot William Wallace. The Crawfords rallied to their Wallace cousin during the wars of Scottish independence. The family of the Crawford Sheriff of Air produced the main branches of the clan. The Crawfords of Orchie names and the Crawfords of Crawford land. The chief Lee line is reckoned to be that of Orchie names in Renfrewshire who received a grant for their lands from Robert the Bruce in 1320. Sir William Crawford was knighted by James I of Scotland, and fought with the Scots forces in the service of Charles via France. In 1423 he was wounded at the siege of Crayolt in Burgundy. John of the Crawford land branch of the clan, was killed at the Battle of Flodden in 1513, as were the Lairds of Orchie names. A generation later the Laird of Orchie names was killed at the Battle of Pinkeekloo in 1547. Thomas Crawford of Jordan Hill also fought at the Battle of Pinky, but was captured and later ransomed. In 1569 he became a member of the household of Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley when Darnley married Mary, Queen of Scots. Crawford denounced both Maitland of Letherington and Sir James Balfour as being conspirators in the murder of Darnley, however he did not sympathise with the deposed Queen and in 1570 actually captured Dumbarton Castle from her forces with just 150 men. In the 17th century Crawford Land Castle was much extended by the 16th Laird. John Walkinshaw Crawford, the 20th Laird was a distinguished soldier who joined the army at an early age, and rose to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He fought in the victory at the Battle of Dittingen in 1743 against the French. Two years later he also distinguished himself at the Battle of Fontenoy. However, despite his faithful service to the House of Hanover, during the Jacobite Rising of 1745, he was also a faithful friend of the Jacobite Earl of Kilmarnock. In a last act of comradeship he followed Kilmarnock to the scaffold, where he received the Earl's severed head, and attended to the solemnities of his funeral. As a result his name was placed at the bottom of the army list, although he was restored in 1761, and appointed falconer to the king. He died in 1793, and left his entire estates to Sir Thomas Coutts. However this was contested by Elizabeth Crawford, who eventually won her case in the House of Lords in 1806. This branch of the clan, united the families of Howison and Crawford and they still live at Crawford Land. Sir Alexander Crawford of Kilburnie was created baronet in 1781 and his son, Robert Crawford, commanded the Light Division in the Peninsula War. He died in 1812 leading his troops in an assault on the fortress of Sida Drodrigo. A monument was erected to him in St. Paul's Cathedral, London. Hugh Crawford, the 21st Laird of Orchie Names, emigrated to Canada having sold the ancient clan lands in the 20th century.